Thank you, Bishop Nunn. As Bishop Nunn indicated, I just recently joined the university as of July 1. And during my brief tenure, I must say it's been a distinct pleasure to learn more about our connection with the United Methodist Church and our rich mutual heritage. I am here today to provide you an update of what's happening at OCU. Before I do though, I'd like to really extend my thanks again to Bishop Nunn and Reverend Derek Blaze for making room to welcome and celebrate Oklahoma City University. We're thankful for leadership like yours that continues to support the mission and ministry of OCU. We're especially proud to have so many OCU students and alumni engaged in today's programming. Hi out there, glad you're here. Prior to joining OCU, I, as Bishop Nunn indicated, I was at Lamar University. In fact, my entire background has really been at public universities, but it may come as a surprise to you, public universities are beginning to behave a lot more like private universities. And as such, I think my fit is particularly appropriate at this point in time in Oklahoma City University's history. I'm moving back again to Oklahoma. It's great to be here. I was particularly attracted this time around to the thriving and transitioning landscape of Oklahoma City and the opportunity to work in a more intimate university setting with ties to the Methodist traditions of service and our, our dedication to intentional inquiry. Or to put it another way, how do we know what we know? Nowhere is this epistemological approach more apparent than addressing the ever increasing challenge facing our city. I've spoken about the challenges of homelessness and OCU's potential role in meeting this ever-present reality in a variety of settings. Whether we choose to participate strictly really in community service and or in other ways, such as advancing academic research, strives to find enduring solutions to this ever-expanding population of our homeless brethren, OCU can and should be an instrumental partner with the city. Should we be fortunate to advance our collective knowledge in improving the homeless condition, our contribution will extend well beyond our city to impact cities across the United States and the world. I firmly believe this offers a possible important partnership between OCU and the Methodist Church. We can find a mutually meaningful difference. An example of this work is already taking place through our campus membership in the partnership between our campus ministry and the Wesley Foundation and the Billy Hooten UMC, a member of the Oklahoma Indian Missionary <clears throat> Conference. For the last two years, students from OCU have helped this small congregation serve approximately 70 households each month by filling and gifting a box of nutritious food. Thank you for your faithful support of Oklahoma City University over the years. Because of our financial, your financial generosity, our Oklahoma United Methodist Churches have been able to provide scholarships for our Methodist students and maintain important relationships with schools like the Lydia Patterson Institute. Additionally, your support contributes to important ministry, campus ministries such as our Wesley Center, enabling programming and mentoring to and the serving of our OCU community and beyond. This important ministry is being presently ably supported by the work of Reverend Elizabeth Gordon Ware. We appreciate her a great deal. As we conclude our report to the conference, we want to offer a musical selection as we did last year. Make me a channel of your peace, which is based on a prayer of St. Francis Assisi. It gained prominence when it was sung by the congregation at the funeral of Diana, Prince of Wales in 1997. Today it's being performed by Audrey Logan, a soprano, a freshman vocal performance and musical theater major from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, actually my hometown, Professor Jan McDaniel on the piano, who is professor of vocal coaching at the Bass School of Music here also at OCU. I hope you enjoyed this offering from us to you. Once again, my thanks to you for your time today. Have a good day.